Hello, good morning, welcome to Fish with Bish. We're back here at Honington this time. Unfortunately, no sandwich review. Um, don't do sandwiches here, but there you go. Uh, looking forward to a good day's fishing. I'm here with Dad again. <laughs> um, oh, sometimes. Um, here we are at Honington. It's a pool we've not fished for a long time. I'll just give you a quick scan of the pool in a second. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, give us a comment, uh, tell your friends, tell your enemies. Welcome to Fish with Bish. Roll the credits. This is where I'm fishing. Uh, decided to fish on a corner. That's par for the course, I don't fish that far out. Uh, today I'm looking to fish at the uh, outlet pipe or close to the outlet pipe. Uh, the problem with commercial waters is really there's, there aren't that many features unless you, you hunt about under the water with your plumb bob just to try and find somewhere. But if you look over there, I've got the, uh, the nice bush that's <laughs> Oh dear, <clears throat> there's the bush to fish to over there, there's the outlet pipe, I've also got the corner, uh, I'm quite high up here today, so we'll just check that out, um, right, it's time to set up, um, right, let's just pull out, so there we go, there's, uh, there's my fishing position, there's a the pole roller, Absolutely essential piece of kit that I found it absolutely brilliant since the first time I've uh, used it. Um, if you look, the poles situated on the one side. On the other side, uh, what I might do is put that I have got an extra section just in case <clears throat> when the wind blows, it just rolls that pole over, over from one side to the other. It's not going to go anywhere. So uh, no, here we go. Time to set up. Right, hello again. Um, we're at uh, we're at Honington today, uh, which is the closest fishery to me and my dad. Um, Dad's just behind me. Don't know if you can see him. I think you can. Um, we're just having a a short session today. Um, um, wasn't set up. Just caught a car of about what did you say? Dad, about three pound. It weren't big, was it? About three pound. Uh, at a couple of perch and stuff like that before I set the camera up. Wasn't sure whether I was going to set the camera up, but I thought, why not, seeing as I've got them. Um, lovely, lovely day. Beautiful blue skies you can see behind me. Um, if I can just move you round so you can see uh, the rig. Right. Um, same as before, uh, it's a Drennan AS2. Uh, 5 gram, 5G float, um, puck float, uh, again without being repetitive, it's a wire stem, um, started off on the maggots, that's what I caught the, uh, the perch and the roach on, uh, swapped over again to these green stem pellets, swim stem pellets, I keep calling them stem pellets, they're swim stem pellets, um, and I'm just fishing out towards where that outlet pipe is um, so uh, hopefully you can hear me uh, because I've got the got the mic on today so uh, let's get out there let's have a look um, probably third or fourth put in this so um, just show you the the cup we're just going to load the cup bought some uh, some micro pellets standard for me at, uh, at this venue, well, most venues, 
this is my view is if that's what they're selling that's what they're using that's what the fish are eating so um, we've got some micros quite a few maggots here really um, just because it's early on just starting the session um, right, I'll just get you in and there you go so you can see the maggots in there and I'm literally just going to put three or four of the green stem pellets just so that, that they know uh, that's what's uh, coming out so let me just get this ready what, uh, what I tend to do as well is uh, so that the pellets go down quite quickly just add a little bit of water to the pot so I don't dampen the pellets at all I just uh, I put them in dry and then just put a few in like this right and then let's get out to where I'm fishing I'm literally fishing right by well no, not right by better foot two foot away um, but what I'm doing it is I'm laying it in um, drop the bait in exactly in the same spot every time if I can within like a two meter circle well, it's a two meter my god I'm getting all my measurements mixed up um, probably a three foot circle uh, lay the lay the back my float in so it arrives at the same sort of time as the same sort of time as the bait dropping down and then uh, sit and wait right little tiny weeny movements on the float there you probably can't see them on the camera There we go. Oh, that was a nice bite. And there's the bow wave as the fish leaves the swim. I miss that bugger. Mm. Now, I've already caught the one carp. So I know, oh, and there we are, and we're in. This isn't a very big fish. If anything, it feels a bit bringy to me. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you picked up those wonderful dragonflies there, flying in formation. Uh, he's not pulling very hard, this fish. Whether he doesn't know he's caught yet or, or what. I don't know. So, let's get him in. Whenever you know he's starting to pull now. Drop, drop the pole, and the fish is swimming towards you. I've got to pull a kit, so just tighten up on him. So look. Oh, he's woke up a little bit. No, it's a car. It is a car. On the small side. Uh, I'm going right in the lip. All right. Let's just get that hook all right out of the way. There he is. Nice fish. Not very big. There you go. Let's get him back. Right, load up the the feeder. Just just a couple of these green pellets, just as I say, so they're there and they can see that see my hook as hook bait as something that's already in. So that pellet's perfectly okay, so we'll just carry on using it. All right, let's, uh, let's get back out.
just uh, while we're hopefully waiting for a bite, just tell you something about this middle pool. This uh, this middle pool's not pegged out at all. Um, this isn't used as a, for any of the competitions or anything. It's sort of an intermediate pool. There's the top pool where which is stream fed, which drops into this one. And then this feeds into the the much bigger pool which you've seen us fish on. I think we did summer silvers on the on that pool, and it's also where I had the barbel. Is it? Right, mean again. Yeah, I thought I was slightly too far too far over, and that seems to have just changing that slightly is. Brought me back into the danger zone. So we're back in again. Again, it's not a very big carp, this. It's, uh, it's coming in quite nicely. Right, let's. Uh, It seems to be playing ball, so. <laughs> Slightly better fish. He's talking to us anyway. Right. Right in the top lip again. Right, should we have a look at him? Let's have a look. Whoop. He don't want to be picked up, does he? Right. There he is. A little bit better. A little bit better fish. Those lovely colours. Right, let's get him back. Right, because um, because of where I'm fishing, the accuracy if I threw the bait out, it's just not there to be honest. And I don't don't want to spread it out. I want to keep it in a in a quite a tight uh, little target area. So again, micro pellets. Just literally three or four of the green pellets. I'm not feeding them at all. A um, few maggots. Again, take it out. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to put this out now because uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. But I forgot to put bait on. Hey, fish with bish. You ain't going to catch no fish with no bait on, are you? Right, schoolboy error. Full memory card. Um, anyway, back to the fact that fish with bish doesn't know what he's doing and didn't put a bait on. So I'll just bank, put a, one of these green pellets on the on the up on the band rather. All right, I'd already loaded the. Uh, loaded the pot so it's already out there so I just get my just get the the rig out and about alright so I don't know whether you'll be out you can pick the the float up um, so I need to just drop it in draw it across to where I want to be and just let it straighten up and then drop drop down and there we go
Just shows them pellets work, Dad, doesn't it? Shows them pellets work. Welcome back. It's been a bit quiet, um, as it always does for an hour or so. Now it seems to have picked up again. A bit like the tank then, Dad. Sorry, I didn't have the microphone on. Um, right, hopefully you can pick this up. Right, there we are. Right, concentrate on the fish now. The carp of the well, he's not the same size, he's slightly smaller to be honest, but of the same colour. Very silver. <coughs> I'm just going to put this one straight back because he's. I hate to tell him, cover his ears. He's nothing special. Right, had a had a cracking short session, uh, not too bad. Uh, on this smallest of the of the pools at Onington, little square pool. As I said earlier, it's um, it's got no designated uh, pegs, but I think that makes it all the better. Um, don't see a lot of people fishing this one, do you, Dad? Don't see a lot of people fishing this one. So uh, no, we've uh, we've had a good day. Look at that then. <laughs> now we've had a good day fishing. Very warm, very, very warm, very nice. So thanks to Mark and the guys here at Onnington. Had a great, great day. Um, nice fishery. Um, very local to me. <laughs> um, lots of wildlife here. You've got uh, buzzards flying across the tree. You can actually see the crows there. Um, the crows live in all the trees over here. Um, bullocks to you and sheep. Um, this is uh, this is where Wayne the goose lives. 
to be honest. Um, not seen him today. I hope he's all right. But uh, no. Thanks for watching with Fish with Bish. Please subscribe. Um, hit the button. Hit the like button. Smash the button. Please subscribe. Come on, come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. Right. If you don't, then I'm going to keep spinning. If you don't subscribe, I'm going to keep spinning the camera. Like that. Have I finished? Yeah, I've finished fishing. If you want